Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Jim Geiger. I'm the Senior Vice President for University Advancement at Clarion, and it is my true honor to welcome you all here today to, as we pay homage to Coach Bub and to dedicate the space for him and all that he has done for us. Before we get to that real quick, a couple of quick comments I'd like to make. Um, this beautiful facility that we have, um, it, it really took us to the top of the facilities that we compete in. And a lot of people helped us. And a lot of you are here today, but I'm going to take a moment to thank just a couple of people um, who really stepped up and made a difference to make, help, make this happen for Coach Bob. And some of these people everybody will know. Cheryl and Mark Reesmeyer. <laughs> Kay and Mike Hinderleiter. <laughs> Peg and Gary Barton. <laughs> Deb and Dale Murdoch. <laughs> and Sarah and Eric Booth. I'm also excited today to announce the largest gift that we've received for Clarion Wrestling, a $250,000 commitment to support scholarships and other needs for the wrestling program. Alumna and Clarion University Foundation President Jane France and her husband and Clarion University Foundation member Chris Allison. Would you stand please? <laughs> Jane's interest in wrestling began in her days at Clarion State College and their belief that Coach Bob needed to be recognized for not only his team's stellar long-term performance, but more importantly, the values that he instilled in his wrestlers. And finally, their faith in Dr. Dale and the bright future of Clarion Wrestling. Thank you both. <laughs> now I'd like to draw your attention to the screens that we have around, and there's screens up in the Eagles perch as well, for a tribute video to Coach Bob. For more than 50 years, we've been fortunate to have Coach Bub be part of not just our Golden Eagle wrestling program, but also our Clarion community. Since his arrival in 1966, he has left an indelible mark on the countless student athletes as a coach, a mentor, an advocate, and a friend. In his nearly three decades as head coach of our wrestling program, Coach Bub made the Golden Eagles one of the marquee programs in the nation. With him at the helm, Clarion fans enjoyed hundreds of team victories, dozens of All-Americans, a host of conference championships, and seven Division I national champions. Since his retirement as head coach, he has continued to be an advocate for the sport of wrestling in general and the Golden Eagle program in particular. He's a true rock star in the sport. We know Coach Bob. We know that those successes on the mat, as gratifying and exciting as they were, ranked second behind the successes achieved off the mat. Because of his leadership and guidance, hundreds of student athletes earned their college degrees. They became leaders in business and champions in their communities. They matured and they grew into the best versions of themselves. Through it all, they never forgot their time at Clarion. They never forgot the relationships they built or the lessons they learned as part of this program. And they will never forget the man who helped them achieve life's greatest victories. Just saying thank you isn't enough. Coach, it is our honor to have your name literally on the training facility where generations to come will be proud Golden Eagles. Wings up. It is an honor and a privilege to have this opportunity to recognize Coach Bub and his wife, Marcia, for everything that they have meant to our athletics program and this university. If there's one word that best describes Coach Bob, it would be humility. Coach Bob is a giant in the world of collegiate wrestling, but through all the accolades and the accomplishments, he has never been one to take credit or bask in the spotlight. Coach Bob, on this day, I hope that you take a moment to look around. Look at the program that you helped to build, the culture that you helped to create, and the lives that you impacted. So many of your students who competed for you all those years ago have joined us in celebration today, as well as those who took time to offer their heartfelt congratulations. We are so proud of our renovated Tippin Gymnasium and Natatorium and our reimagined wrestling training facility. It is only fitting that it should bear your name in honor not only of your accomplishments at Clarion, but your support of our program and your massive impact on NCAA collegiate wrestling. 
thank you, Coach Bob, for all that you have done for our student athletes, our university, and our community. You are another example of what makes us proud to be Golden Eagles. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. Whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood. Who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasm, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement. And who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Thank you to all of you who have joined us today to honor Coach Bob. I'd like to offer a special thanks to those of you who have contributed to this project to ensure that Coach Bob's legacy is a permanent part of Tiffin Gymnasium. During my time here at Clarion, I've built so many relationships with our alumni and fans. I've heard all sorts of stories about memorable experiences from your college years, and most of those stories lead back in some way to Coach Bob. But what's really surprising about those Coach Bob stories is how often they have almost nothing to do with wrestling. Take a moment to look around today at all the great men who have joined us for this special occasion. You're here today with some incredible, wildly successful people. So many of you, I trust, would credit Coach Bob with helping you develop into the men you've become. Coach Bob built a wrestling dynasty at a small school in Pennsylvania, and we're all grateful for that. But what Coach Bob was really doing was making great men, and he used the sport of wrestling to do it. There's no doubt in my mind that Coach Bob's purpose on earth was to do exactly what he's done. I'm humbled to serve in the role that he once did. Congratulations, Coach and Marsha, on an incredible honor, and thank you for all that you do for the Clarion University Wrestling Program. It's an honor well deserved that the Clarion Wrestling Room will bear your name. I've considered you as a second dad for all the patience and persistence in helping making me the wrestler, the man, and the coach I became. I feel very blessed to have had the privilege of wrestling for you in the early 70s, our glory days. I never imagined it would result in a lifelong friendship and profession. I thank you. I thank you for every second we spent together. Well, let's forget about those summer camps and all those mats we had to move. Coach, next to my dad, you were the most important man in my life. As Teddy Roosevelt said, the credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. Coach, you were the man in the arena for 26 years, and now the arena is named after you. The Robert G. Bubb Wrestling Room, well-deserved, Congratulations, Coach Bob and Mrs. Bob. I am honored to have this opportunity to say congratulations, Coach Bob, for this well-deserved honor and to say thank you. For years ago, perhaps many years ago, you had a vision. You created, developed, and nurtured a culture that provided an opportunity for so many of us to pursue our paths of excellence and come out the other side better people. On behalf of my brother Tom and myself, we want to say thank you and congratulations, Coach. And also recognize that you had a wonderful woman at your side every step of the journey 
supporting it. Congratulations, Marsha, also. Oh, oh, hey, Bernie. Oh, oh, hey, Bill. Hey, Coach Bob. Ken Hasrick here. I just really want to take a moment between my workouts here to congratulate you. Well deserved. Having the rest of your name after you, rightfully so. And I know you'll downplay it, but there are so many people that will never even know your name who owe you a debt of gratitude. And I'm just one of those many people. God bless you. And thank you for everything. I gotta finish three double arm now. One, where those ho hos come from? Love you, Coach Bob. Congratulations. Hey, this is Kurt Angle, Olympic gold medalist and Clarion grad, 1992. And I want to congratulate Coach Bob on his dedication of having the wrestling room named after him. This is something that you truly deserve, Coach. You're the greatest coach I've ever had, and I want to wish you continued success the rest of your life. Take care and God bless, and congratulations. Hey, Coach Bob, I know you don't like being the center of attention. We really want to celebrate you today and express our gratitude for everything you've done for the Clarion Wrestling Program over the, over the years. You taught us the, the meaning of the words integrity, character, and self-responsibility. Uh, Cindy and I are grateful for you and Marsha for involving us in the community 30 years ago, and it's just been a wonderful ride. We thank you for everything you've done for the Clarion Wrestling Program over the years and all the lives that you built into for the young men. Enjoy the day, Coach. Thank you. I want to congratulate Coach Bob for getting the wrestling room named after him. He is one of the greatest coaches of all time. Not only was he a great coach, he was a great mentor for me. He treated me as a son as much as he did a student athlete. But I learned so much from Coach Bob and I credit so much of my success as a coach and a teacher from Coach Bob. Congratulations, Coach. Hey, Coach Bob, Bernie here. Congratulations on this, uh, this amazing honor. Uh, you're so deserving, um, having the room uh, after you and in, in, in your honor. Um, we're here in our wrestling room right now and just told my kids tonight when we finished our practice that about what, 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 I'm, what I'm going through on Sunday and, and uh, told them that uh, you know all the stuff that I'm trying to pass along to them um, came from you for the most part. Uh, so um, you not only impacted me uh, in so many positive ways, but uh, you're able to impact so many more um, down the road. So once again, congratulations, Coach Bob and Mrs. Bob, and um, once again, thanks for everything. What a great day being here in Tiffin Gymnasium, again with all of you, even though it's only in spirit, brings back a lot of great memories, all of which wouldn't be possible without a gentleman we simply refer to as Coach. The man who watched over us with an unconditional love and an unwavering devotion. He gave us the freedom to find our own way and the room to make our own decisions. Well, usually. And when we tri tripped over ourselves, he was always there to make sure we didn't fall too hard. Coach, we are who we are because of you. You taught us to reach for the stars, even when we knew that wasn't possible, until it became possible. And over the years, we have been doing for our children and those we coach exactly what you did for us. And for that, and for so much more, all of us would like to say, on this, your very special day. Thanks, Coach. Coach Bob Randy Miller here. I could not think of a more deserving person to have the new wrestling room at Clarion named after. Um, you built that program. You were a giant influence on many people like me um, that taught me life lessons going through that program and wrestling for you. Um, life lessons that I've used through my career and um, just wanted to say congratulations and a big thank you. Naming the wrestling room after Coach Bob is a, an appropriate honor. I know when I get together with my friends, we are frequently talking about uh, the impact that Coach Bob has had on our lives. For me personally, he, he's had an impact on how I am as a father. He's had an impact on how I am as a husband. He's had an impact on how I, I operated in the business world and probably near and dear to my heart, he's also had a huge impact on how I operate as a coach. Hi everyone. Some people get lucky in life. They get with the right person at the right time, at the right place. That would be me, Stan Zima, Bob Bub's assistant coach.
during his golden years at Clarion. Bob was a master coach. Imagine this, first year out of college, taking the call from the bubber. Great moments followed that call. Being at his side for Clarion's first national champion, first time having three national champions, fourth in the team race, and coming home to celebrating with thousands of fans. Thank you, Coach. I was blessed. You jump-started my college career. We had great moments, and the greatest of all, we've had a lifetime fr friendship. Naming rights, you earned it. Congratulations to Coach Bob. Lots of love and respect, and enjoy your time. Wow, it's hard to follow that, Coach. We'll let you catch your breath. I'd like to introduce you now to the Honorable Donna Oberlander, State Representative for the 63rd District of Pennsylvania and Clarion University Council Trustee Member to present an official resolution naming the space. Thank you. Coach Bub, it is my honor on behalf of the Clarion University Council of Trustees to present you with this resolution, which reads in part, be it resolved that the Council of Trustees of Clarion University of Pennsylvania, in recognition of the prominent and devoted commitment of Robert G. Bubb to Clarion University and his significant impact on the Clarion community, as well as the college wrestling on a national level, does hereby endorse the naming of the wrestling room in the Waldo S. Tippin Gymnasium and Natorium as the Robert Bob Bubb Wrestling Room, pursuant to the Clarion University policy on naming of Clarion University facilities and program centers, and be it further resolved that this resolution shall be made a matter of formal record in the meetings minutes of the Council of Trustees for November 18th, 2021. Congratulations. Thank you, Donna. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Wendy Snodgrass, Director of Athletics and the Senior Woman Administrator at Clarion, 
And Coach Bub, please come forward as well. Say up here now. Now, what you've all been waiting for is to hear from Coach. Coach. I'm usually good for a wise crack, but I'm I'm humbled. I don't know how else to put it. It's uh, a great honor, which I share with all of you out there today. I wish to thank Dr. Dale and Jim, Wendy, Donna, and all of you for making this day possible. I want to thank you all. I guess I want to thank is the only word I can think of. 56 years ago, I arrived in Clarion. It was about June. I had talked to Mr. Lignelli, uh, God bless him, and he t wanted to know if I'd be interested in coming to Clarion. I said, well, let's look into it. And I immediately got out of BAP to find out where it was. I was teaching in Tyrone, Pennsylvania. I had no idea. I-80 wasn't out there yet. But anyway, the, they came down, Mr. Tippin and Mr. Lignelli came down and uh, they watched me teach because at that time, in order to get a job in the state schools in coaching, you had to be a teacher. You were paid by your academic rank, not for coaching. So I was usually, as I try to tell our wrestlers, always be early. I was early to Clary and I decided that maybe I would just drive through the town and get a little idea of the feel. And I did, and I come down to the curve where the football field is, and all at once I started down the hill. Well, I could immediately realize I'm getting out of Clarion, and I didn't want to do that. So I took the first route going the other direction, and uh, I went out there, and I thought it was the friendliest place I've ever run in. Cars were tooting, people were waving, and I thought, this is great, geez, how'd they pull this off? And I got out there by the courthouse, and I stopped there, and a car pulled up, and a guy rolled down his window, and he said, hey, you jerk, you're on a one-way street. I was on Liberty. It, no, that's a true story. I ran out Liberty, <laughs> and everybody was trying to tell me I was on a one-way street. But that's the way it goes. Uh, those of you here today know that Clarion's wrestling success between 66 and 92 lies not with one man. We were a program and a whole. But in making that whole, there were so many pieces that ultimately made that whole. And I would like to address a couple of those, if I may, a special thanks. Number one, my remarks are only between 66 and 92, and not to reflect on what came before me or what came after me. First of all, I'd like to thank my family, Marcia, Jill, and Susan, my two daughters. I can't tell you how many days or nights that I was away from home, that I missed concerts, that I missed volleyball games, I missed being home, missed being a father, and so on, but they hung with me, and we made it through together. Also here today is 
my grandson, Robbie, and my granddaughter, Megan. And Megan is here with two little ones, Ivy, who is two years old, we just celebrated, and we come with Claire, who is only two months old, have come up north from Florida to witness the coldness of it all. And, of course, Megan made Marcia and I both great grandparents. So we're really not that old, but, you know. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to, I can't, but I would like to recognize Dr. Gimmel, who was the president at the time that I was hired, and Frank Lignelli, who was just becoming the AD taking over from Waldo Tippin, which his gymnasium is named after. And he, both of them, had this feeling that athletics was an integral part of the educational program. And without their help in getting us started, we would not be here today. And very strangely, I'd like to recognize this custodial and maintenance staff. Now you might find that a little silly, <laughs> hey, what? But I'll tell you, some of them are here today and I learned very early that those people are out there to help you. And they made certain things happen during my career that made this a part of the whole. Uh, the support of the community. Goodness, it couldn't have been better. The community, the student body at that time filled these bleachers. The cheerleaders, descendants over here, and the pep band, and the fans, of course. But I'll tell you, on nights with the right team in here, a thousand people plus in the stands, this place rocked. And many a coach has come and said, that's the toughest place to wrestle at. Well, we don't particularly like to go to Clarion. Our fans, again, I can't tell you what you meant to those young men who wrestled. You meant a lot. When they came out of that locker room, they were pumped. And that's what that motivation really helped. To the faculty, which many are here today, they took all kind of extra time when I would call up and ask them, would you talk to a parent, parents and a prospective student athlete? Never once was I ever turned down. And many of them, and uh, they convinced a lot, of, a lot of students, and some of them are here right now, uh, parents told one, said this is the first place we have that anybody talked about af or academics. So that made Clarion again very, very special school. Um, the athletic trainers, the people we take for granted that every day are available at matches and make people have been wounded whole. Back in those days, Bob Leonard, bless his soul, and Dr. Guilford, he too has passed. And now it's been passed on and I had the pleasure of working with Jim Thornton and his crew. To them I give my thanks, you made us whole. The SID, Rich Herman, and the radio, George Williams at that time from Dubois, we were on Dubois, no matter where we went, radio and the press were with us. Can't tell you how much good it did for the school as well as the wrestling team to have the name Clarion in the papers, on the radio, etc. That made us whole. My student secretaries, how could I forget them, and our managers. Managers are here today, and the student secretaries, and you made life easy for me in the office. 
and the manager's first one in on a day of a match and the first one, or last ones to leave. Thank you. Pin Club. There are some of the original members still here in this, boy, are they old. But, uh, and they still exist today and the Pin Club is still serving the student athletes, the wrestlers of Clarion University. I remember when we formed a pin club, it was back in the late 70s or early 80s, and we started out with 10 cents for a individual win and 25 cents for a pin. We've raised our dues, dues a little bit since then. The financial support that some of you gave, the, the uh, fundraisers we had, uh, without it, it just doesn't exist. And the uh, endowments that we started, we have now to the present today have 13 endowments for wrestling. And the people that made that possible, very, very, eight of those came from four former wrestlers who gave back, along with five other people who just loved the sport and loved clarion wrestling. And we're eternally grateful, I am, to assistant coaches. Sometimes they're taken for granted. They're always around, but it's the head coach. He, of course, he takes the accolades for a win, but he also has been called a bum for the losses. They, they're shy of that. But Neil Turner, a very good personal friend of mine, who some of you know, passed away December 29th of last year, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, to Neil, I'm indebted. He was the principal recruiter for Wade Shawless, Gary Barton, Billy Elbow Simpson. Uh, so with people like that working for you, I don't know if there's wrestling in heaven, but when Neil got there, he started a team. And unfortunately, we provide him a lot of wrestlers. Stan Zemer, who you heard talk, was my second ass assistant. He left us to become the head coach at Franklin Marshall College. Then he got smart, went into private business, and has been very successful. Greg Johnson, three-time All-American from Michigan State, now deceased. Jack Davis, the guy that could sell refrigerators, refrigerators to Eskimos and I uh, was very good at it, my longtime assistant, and Ken Ellis. And both Jack and Ken became head coaches here in Coach Clarion. And numerous grad assistants and voluntary coaches. Now the biggest part of the whole was a group I'd like to thank. And if you read the inscription very closely, this one it's presented here, you will read that the room is dedicated in honor of, but also and is dedicated to the coaches and wrestlers, past, present, and future, who have devoted themselves to advancing the clarion wrestling proud tradition they're the ones who credit, as it's been used many times, in the man in the arena. Uh, there are many of you here today, and I'm very thankful you made the trip. They come from all over, as far away as Louisiana, all the way up here north, and was presented a, some of that uh, gift at uh, Monte Gras times, and I thank you very much for that. But uh, we started, we, you looked at the modern, you don't know that some of the people were here before me, Franklin Nelly's time, wrestled in Hart Chapel on the stage, that was the wrestling room. And then we were graduated, we got up and we were in Stevens Hall in the basement when I was here for an interview, 
I forgot to ask Mr. Lignelli where the wrestling room was. Uh, but anyway, we graduated from there and the old gym, the new gym. So we've come a long way in clearing wrestling here. But the wrestling room is special because out of that wrestling room came a gold medalist Olympics, a bronze medalist Olympics, a world champion, NCA champions and all Americans, EWL and PSAC champions, and the backbone of any wrestling team, the group I call the Grunts. Never won a championship, but they were there every day, every night, until their time would come. They bonded together a chemistry by Cemetery Hill, Toby Hill, long hauls around, and most of all, around the bad day at Black Rock. And I can't say enough about those young men. These young men have earned respect of the wrestling nation by going toe to toe with the nation's best. Penn State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Ohio State, Iowa, Michigan, Iowa State, Wisconsin, Arizona State, Oregon, Oregon State, Pitt, West Virginia, among others. I'm proud to say every one of those schools participated right here in Waldo S. Tippin Gymnasium on that mat. Well, this is a little modern than that mat. It wasn't all fun. We were humbled many times. Sometimes you lose, as the old, sometimes you get to bear, sometimes bear gets you. And it's been used very often here. We had a plaque put up over our wrestling room, drawn by a football player, an art artist. He was an art major. And he figured out the spacing. We had it put up in our old wrestling room. And it's that battle of life, which Keith Rettlers read off, but I'd like to read it again, because it, it's taken from Theodore Roosevelt, President of the United States. He wasn't talking about wrestling. He was talking about politics. Believe it or not, you can, as it's read, you can understand why. But it applies to all of us in life. In the battle of life, it is not the critic. How many times have we run into that person that knows how to do it better than you did it? Counts, not the man who points out how the strong, strong man stumbled or where the doer of a deed could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood who strives valiantly, who errs and comes short again and again, because there is no effort without fair error or shortcomings, who does actually strive to do the deeds, who know the great enthusiasm, the great devotion, spends himself in a worthy cause, and who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who have faced neither victory nor defeat. And that applies to not only wrestling, it applies to life, and has been a, one of our standards. We call it our serenity prayer. Again, I thank all of you for making this day special. I'm truly blessed. Now it's time to beat Kent State. Thank you very much.